trying to figure out what this match is going to look like tomorrow on the pitch with USA, of course, needing a win. You figure Iran's going to be super tight because they're, they're going to be okay with a draw. How does this play out on, on the actual pitch then tomorrow? Well, it's going to come down to uh, how aggressive we want to get. Uh, and that's obviously a coaching call for Greg Berhalter. But, dude, this is, this is Carlos Quiroz. Now, to a lot of people, that doesn't mean a lot. But he used to work for Manchester United. He used to work for the United States. This guy wrote the article that was, was called 2010, which was back in, in, the, in the 90s. That was, was supposed to be the, the, the blueprint for the United States uh, to figure out how to win a World Cup. So this guy knows uh, us very, very well. Uh, but he is a defensive coach. He's probably one of the best defensive coaches in the world. <laughs> the irony, I guess, he's trying to teach us how to win. And he's, his job is to tie. So... This is going to get uh, this is going to get crazy. They are going to they are going to bunker down. Uh, they're very good at that. Mm-hmm. And the best case scenario for them is a zero zero. We have to score, and we've had a lot of difficulty breaking down uh, defenses that that make us put us in a spot where we have to 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 commit numbers forward. That's been a big problem for our coach. So I see this one playing out one nothing United States, and it's going to take a long time. Uh, but I still would not be surprised if it was 0-0. The rest of the tournament, guys, we're going to start seeing games like today. Unbelievable. It's going to open up. There's going to be a lot of goals uh, and a lot of fun matches to watch. Were you encouraged then with the performance against England and why you're, you're confident to tomorrow? Uh, yes and no. I, I think that there were some substitutions that should have been made. Uh, Gio Reyna is still uh, looking at very minimal minutes mm-hmm. in this competition. He's the ideal guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, for us now to, to break down the likes of Iran. Um, and for whatever's going on there, uh, he hasn't seen enough playing time. We're really hoping that he gets in the game. Uh, that's basically the way he is. That's his job when he's playing at Dortmund is to play against teams that do a low block, which means they get at least eight to nine bodies behind the ball. Because that's what they, that's how teams in the Bundesliga play against Dortmund. And he's been very good uh, at, at the little clever passes, great timing on his crosses. So we're looking to, to see him on the field if we, if we really are uh, looking to win the game. Can you share with our listeners the, one of the articles you wrote about uh, your experience and roommates and not having a roommate and then how a roommate can be there for you and leadership and experience and tie it all in together? I thought that was a nice piece, but if you can share that. And what does it mean moving forward in your opinion? Well, I, I think it was an interesting wrinkle in all of this, you know, in, in you know, especially in the in the case of Walker Zimmerman, who you know obviously caused the foul on Gareth uh-huh. Bale mm-hmm. uh, that we lost the points for. And it, it, as a guy that's experienced that, I didn't have such a great World Cup debut either. I got red carded in my first game, uh, and the only thing that saved me was, was was having a roommate and someone to console me and talk to me about it. These guys are going back to their rooms, an empty room. And, and, and just expected to go to sleep and yeah. stop thinking about it. So it, it was just something I thought about where uh, I hope that, that they're having, you know, the, the opportunity to talk to each other because you know, this is a team uh, sport, clearly. But in situations like that, when you make a big mistake or there's a guy that is unhappy with his playing time, you, you always have to have a roommate that will reel the guy yeah. back. Uh, and, and sometimes you sit there all by yourself, you, 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 you're left to your own vices, you get on the phone, some, and, and now nobody can hear the conversation. So you're on, you're on the phone with somebody or on a Zoom call or a FaceTime, uh, and, you, and you have a tendency to get negative. And that's, that's what I was worried about, because that is something that's real, that will happen. Uh, I, I would have been much more in favor of these guys having roommates, but I, I think uh, living through what I lived through, uh, I was I was concerned about some of the players and and just how they were going to mentally handle this World Cup because it's a lot of pressure. 